what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and you're watching my first ever craft with me video now if you're unsure what a craft with me is uh, don't worry I haven't figured it out yet this is my first time doing one so we will figure it out together but basically my idea was to film my craft sessions and share them to you so in today's video I'm going to work on four PO box replies uh, and this is part one I decided to cut the video in two because it is an, a whole evening of crafting uh, so I decided to make this two videos but today we're going to get started with those four replies this white box you're seeing is basically a graveyard of all of my projects um, it has finished projects it has started projects it has nearly finished projects it has envelopes it has goodies, I don't know, it's like I said, it's basically a graveyard and I showed you four letters at the beginning of this video that I have written to four subscribers and I am going to now look for some things that I might want to use uh, with these letters to see if they match and if hopefully the receivers will like them and then I'm also going to um, make some things or finish some things and of course the envelopes. So I hope you will like it. And the reason why I wanted to do this craft with me is because I really want to do live streaming again. I did live streaming a couple times in the past and I've been wanting to get back into that um, as kind of like a fun way to interact with you all and you know, just so that we can all sit <laughs> Uh, have a cup of tea and craft together but because of a computer update my camera was unable to connect to my computer so I could not do live streaming I did do one <clears throat> live stream on Instagram but it was not the same like Instagram is nice but it's not my core audience basically um, so what I did is I set up a twitch page I will link it down below if you want to see my uh, profile. I know that you can also watch, or as far as I'm aware, you can also watch streams without um, without setting up an account. So be sure to save that for future streams because I have a big news. I just updated my computer a couple days ago and I plugged my camera into my computer and lo and behold, it's working. Um, it worked once. And then I turned my camera off, wanted to turn it on again, and it's not working anymore. Mm, I don't know what that's all about, but it worked once, and I'm very, very, very hopeful that it will once again work for the future. So, I'm actually planning on doing my first live stream this weekend. So, if you want to join that live stream, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Um, I am also going to do probably one or two more live streams on YouTube in the future but I want to keep YouTube for my actual videos and then I want to do live streaming on Twitch. The only reason I would do live streaming on YouTube is to actually tell you to go follow my um, my Twitch channel but obviously I will also be making meal. So um, I have my fingers crossed because um, I would be absolutely devastated if it's not working again but I have my fingers crossed that it is actually working. So. <laughs> Cross your fingers with me, okay? Because that would mean I could do some live streaming this weekend. Link to my Twitch uh, channel is in the description box down below. Now, what you could see is that I had made in the past, because very often I'm in a creative, I have a creative block and then I would just make a whole lot of things without actually finishing anything. That's where the, the graveyard box comes in. Um, so this is one project that I sort of finished a long time ago but I never had I never finished it <laughs> so I um, made a beautiful large tag with a pocket um, using Maggie Holmes bloom I think I don't know I'm using Maggie Holmes papers and then I decorated that with some elements as well and now what I'm doing is I'm obviously filling it with numerous goodies um, I have one of those books from action that ho holds a lot of stickers and um, little cards and all that and I cut some out and I'm going to include them in there and then I'm also adding other things like a w big washi tape sample and some tickets I die cut and a very large um, paper clip and you know stuff like that so that is uh, one of the projects by the way I sent these projects out last Monday 
last Monday, yep. So I'm not actually going to tell you who I sent these to just in case they have not been received. But obviously I will tell you in the next PO Box opening video because then in those videos I always include the people I have replied to. <laughs> so I'm not actually telling you now. I know one of them has already arrived to, in Germany. So one of them has been arrived, but the other three, as far as I know, not yet. So we're just going to keep it a surprise. Now what I'm obviously doing here is I'm just, um, a long time ago I stamped a couple images onto these blank envelopes to use and now I'm just coloring them in. The, the markers I'm using are from Action. Um, yep, they're from Action and I think there might be watercolor markers. They're not actually that nice. You have a whole lot of different color combinations. And I decided just to get the green and blue one because I thought I would love watercolor markers and probably I will love them, but just not the action version. They're just not great quality. But yeah, they only cost a couple bucks. Bu bucks? Only cost a couple euros. Yeah, obviously this one went to Anna, so I spoiled it a little bit, but um, you don't know which Anna. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, I, I do like using, I, I feel bad if I don't use supplies I've bought. So I ended up using them for this envelope. Also, if you're interested in another action shop vlog, I actually went to action today and I'm going to sh film um, a shop vlog that I'm hoping to upload sometime this weekend. So keep an eye on my channel if you want to see some more goodies. I was on no spend for literally months but it's my birthday next Wednesday and I figured I might treat myself to something nice. Also because today I went to an intake. An intake? Is it, do you call it an in intake in, in English? Probably. Um, for a new therapist, which I will tell you a little bit more about later. Not now because it's just an intake and I'm kind of terrified that she might not take me on as a client and then I don't, don't want to talk about it too much so I'll tell you in the future oh uh, what I'm doing with my phone by the way is I'm just taking pictures because I always use a photo diary app um, mine is called Diaro, but there are tons of different apps out there I always take pictures of the things I've sent um, and then I include a picture of the envelope and of obviously the name of the person this was sent to so that in the future I always have some sort of reference for what I've sent out to whom. This is for PO Box mail quite nice but it's also quite handy for pen pals because I am I have terrible memory terrible memory and I would always forget which washi types I had already sent samples of and now I can just look at the picture. This is another project I made pretty much months ago and I never really knew who to send it to but then it, it's so nice to finally find a receiver um, it's a little flip book as you can see made from these tiny papers and it has a lot of different elements including some feathers that I made with mixed media so mainly distress oxides Oh, by the way, it sounds a little bit weird me saying um, I didn't have a receiver for this because obviously I have so many of you sending me a lot of PO box mail, which is incredible. And then I also have my pen pals who are also equally incredible and who I want to reply to all the time. So it's not that I don't have enough mail to reply to, it's just that I don't want to send just anything to anyone. That may sound weird, but um, trust me, sometimes I'll probably send people something that is not their style, but I always want to feel good about what I send. So let's say one person loves vintage, then maybe I would like to send her something that is vintage themed. And if someone sends me a project with, which has a lot of pastel colors, I might hope that they like my pastel colored project. So I always try to find something that hopefully matches the receiver so sometimes I will just craft and make something and it will stay in the graveyard box until I um, find someone who I think will really like that project so it's not that I have a whole box of um, presents and goodies ready to go and, and flip books and all that ready to go um, and fly out it's just that's basically where projects 
sleep, strand, stay for a little while if I, um, if I haven't found the right receiver yet. And um, I could obviously send out a whole lot more mail if I would just finish my projects, but that's, that's one of my biggest challenges when I have a creative um, block, when I just cannot finish anything, then obviously I could finish the projects, but I cannot get myself to actually do it, or I cannot actually get myself to write the letter, and then that's where that box comes in. I can just give them a place um, where they are not necessarily out of sight, out of mind, but where I don't have to worry and feel bad about not finishing them. I can just come back to them later. And that's the same with these projects. Um, there's also a lot of projects in there that I um, do not know how to finish. And then if I come back to them a little later, I might have uh, the perfect idea on how to finish them. So it's just, yeah, sometimes I like to give myself a little break from certain projects and then they're much more fun when you finish them weeks later over trying to finish them because you feel like you have to. Oh, what I'm doing in the background, by the way, is I'm making an envelope that is not flat. It is actually, how do you call this? It's like a box envelope almost, but it's like very thin still. It's like one eighth of an inch. I don't know how many centimeters that is, probably 0.3 or something. Um, and what I did is I used an app, I forgot the name of the app, but I think it's called um, Envelope Punchboard Calculator. I will try and find the name of the app and then I will put it in the description box down below. It's not easy to figure out, I had a whole lot of trouble with it, but basically what you can do is you can say how big your project is and how much extra space you want and then also you can ask how thick you want the envelope to be, like how fat and how... I don't know how to say this in English, but basically my project, as you can see, is not entirely flat. So if I would put it in a flat envelope, the envelope would be a bit bulky and the project might damage. And this envelope is actually square. Oh my gosh, I have no clue how I'm saying this. This envelope has a little bit of extra space, if that makes sense. And that is why I'm super happy Tessa told me about that app, because I never realized I could make teeny tiny box envelopes instead of the regular flat envelopes. Goodness me, I hope that made sense. But yeah, um, that envelope uh, I made out of action paper with my envelope punch board, blah blah blah. I will link all the supplies I use down below. Not sponsored, but you know, every once in a while someone clicks my link and purchases something from that link and then what happens is you do not pay anything extra, but I get like 0.05 percentage or something. So. <sighs> I think in total I've made around three euros with that system. So if you want to purchase the envelope punch board, I'd be super grateful if you would use my link. Who knows, you might make me two cents. <laughs> I'm never going to get rich from this hobby, but that's totally fine. That's what hobbies are for. They're meant to cost uh, money, not gain you some. Um, and then I'm decorating it. I'm using a little note paper, I don't know, um, as address label, and then I'm adding a whole lot of pip sticks stickers to decorate. I have those cute pip stickers with um, mailboxes and, 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 I don't know, random objects that create a nice little collage. And I never ever use my pip sticks stickers, or my stickers in general, so I'm setting myself goals to use them more often. <laughs> But we all know how that goes. Let me know, do you have any supplies you wish to use more often? Leave a comment down below if you like. For me, it's washi tape samples, washi tape in general, stickers and die cuts, my mixed media, actually basically anything. This is a little pocket I made also a little while ago. I made a multiple because I had a new die for a pocket and I loved it so much and I put this little pocket onto noose can you stop meowing um, onto postcards and onto the, that's a project life card and then I do have to say that I got this die from in love art store that's not what I do have to say I mean I got the die from in love art, art store but I do have to say that it's actually crooked <clears throat> like I do not get sponsored to mention in love art store but they sent me a couple supplies for free um, I don't even have to make a video in return, but I did want to tell you that although I love that die very much It's crooked. So if you want to make a pocket, it's you I don't know I, I if I use it because I still use it because hello It's very cute. It's like a lacy laced 
pocket. I don't know. It's like lace. It looks like lace. It's a pocket. It's cute. Um, but um, if I use it, I need to trim off some extra paper and then I can make it work. But it's not perfect and that's kind of sad. So I also wanted to mention that because I showed that die a long time ago in a PO box opening when they sent me the supplies. I was allowed to, to pick up my own supplies. And I picked that because of obvious reasons, because I love little pockets. Took a picture from my photo diary app, and then I also obviously included a whole lot of uh, Project Life cards. So this is not the end of the video, it's the end of this video, but it's not the end of the Croft With Me session. This is just the end of part one. I promise I will upload part two very, very soon so you can see me create the rest. And I'm also going to do wax sealing at the end of that. So whoops, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and you might see me this weekend. <laughs> Who's ready? I'm ready. And then um, yeah, leave me a comment down below telling me what you would like to see in these Croft With Me videos. Um, if you enjoyed this Croft With Me video, Video and um, tell me anything you want to tell me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. What else do we have? And I'll see you very soon. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.